Editing audio clips in Bitwig Studio is not only easy, it's fast. I mean, really fast. Here, let me show you. Let's start out with this bass line. And let's go ahead and bring in this audio loop with my kick and snaps. Sounds pretty good so far. But let's make this audio loop our own. So I'm gonna solo it, and then make a copy of it by option dragging over to the next slot. All right, now the fun begins. Here at the bottom, I can see the waveform for the clip I currently have selected. So let's take a look at the onsets, which represent the attack for each one of these individual instruments. Clicking split at onsets chops up the waveform into individual hits. Now I can select any of those hit points I want and hit delete. So for example, I'm gonna take out all the unnecessary hi-hat hits in this clip. Nice. Let's also take this kick here. I'm gonna option drag it to copy it. Copy it a couple times actually. So we can just change up the feel in the beginning. Okay, so let's do a couple of tighter edits here. You'll notice in the lower right hand corner, our grid is currently set to 32nd note. Cool thing is, is that as I zoom in and out, it's actually gonna change for me because we have adaptive grid on. So now I can take this, make a 30 second note cut and duplicate it a few times. Now we have our roll. But you know what? I actually want this roll to crescendo. So what I'm gonna do is click on gain and I'm gonna grab my pencil tool here and then just draw a little crescendo. The waveform also changes as well to show you the difference in loudness. Okay, I wanna change one more thing. So let's head on over to this kick here and I actually wanna reverse it so I can hit the reverse button here in the inspector. Perfect. Let's bring the bass back in. All right, so things are working out pretty well so far. The next thing I wanna do is bring in some hi-hats. So let's bring in another loop. Not bad, but I wanna have more of a double time type of feel. So I'm gonna copy that file, keep the original, and let's start editing our hi-hat part. The first thing I'm gonna do is split at onset. So once again, I'll have individual hits instead of one long waveform. So what I wanna do is take all of my hits and have them happen in half the amount of time. And that'll give me the double time effect. Now I can select all my hits, right click and say duplicate audio events. So now I've got four bars of double time hi-hats. So far we've been editing our clips using the dock editor here at the bottom. But there's also a full screen edit mode, making it way easier to go through and edit your clips. We'll use the same steps that we used whenever we created a roll with a kick to create a roll with a hi-hat that goes all the way through to the last bar. But instead of creating a crescendo, I wanna create a pitch change as the roll progresses. So I'll switch over to my pitch view, zoom out a little bit, and then grab my pencil once again. This time, I wanna do a pitch change up and then back down. Now we've got our pitch change ready to go. So I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit. And the next thing that I wanna do is give this hi-hat a little bit more of a human feel. Notice that right now, all these hi-hats are very close to the same volume, which can make it sound a little bit too robotic for my taste. So how are we gonna fix that? Well, over in the inspector, you'll notice we have gain. I can raise the entire gain altogether, or start to randomize the gain using our chaos controls. So as I move this, you'll notice that the histogram changes to show you what's happening overall. And you'll see the individual gains moving either louder or softer. So we don't have to stop there with our chaos controls. We can also do the same exact thing to panning. So instead of everything being centered right in the middle, I can open up my histogram and tweak the chaos controls. And just like that, we have a pretty cool panning effect. So let's take a listen now to our edited hi-hats. Well, that was easy to do, and it took less than five minutes. Let's bring our bass back in. Oh. 